Okay, so here's the thing. If you told me I could only pick one guitar to play for the rest of my life out of all of those, I would probably start thinking about pickups, body style, versatility, and I think I would go with the T-style guitar. There's no doubt in my mind, at least for my playing. But what would make this style of guitar even more versatile? The only thing I could think of is humbuckers in a T-style guitar. So I embarked on a journey to find that ideal guitar. Then, out of nowhere, I stumbled upon this. Ladies, gentlemen, and bass players, this is the Artist Guitars TC-59. So today we are going to review this beautiful Artist TC-59 guitar. And as you got from the intro, it was a bit of a funny journey because I didn't actually know Artist guitars that well. I do understand that they are a better known brand in Australia and New Zealand because they are originally an Australian brand. I just stumbled upon their website and strangely enough saw exactly what I couldn't find on all the other websites that I showed you. A guitar that is classic in looks, but with all the modern appointments that actually would make it a dream guitar for a desert island scenario. So on paper, this actually ticked all the boxes. Now what we're going to look at today is whether in reality it does that. So sit back, relax, grab your picks, and let's get started. So as usual with my videos, let's start by looking at the sexy specs of this guitar. The Artist TC-59 has an American ash body, as you can see. Very, very nice. So looking at the back, I think I can definitely see that it is made out of three pieces. There's one piece here, a center block here, and then there's a third piece here. Now again, I keep saying this, but the number of pieces, if done correctly, doesn't actually matter that much. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. In a traditional T-style guitar, it has the strings through the back and the body. Looking at the little holes, I can see it actually ships with the Daria strings, which is always nice on a guitar at this price point. Moving to the front, we have a six saddle bridge. So you're not looking at a traditional Tele three barrel bridge here. I still don't know whether I prefer one over the other. Obviously, this is more modern in terms of appointments than a traditional guitar. And so it does make sense that they went with the six saddle bridge because it allows greater intonation than a traditional strap one. There's no doubt about that. Then moving on, very traditional in terms of the control layout. But what will make a difference is the tone is a push. And that's because you can split these two humbucker pickups. So that is one of the big selling points of this guitar. And that is exactly the answer to the question I asked at the beginning of the video. This with the push pull makes it on paper the most versatile guitar you could have. So let's see if that happens in reality, but very nice. The switch feels very solid, very nice. The volume as well. Not so sure about the longevity of this push pull tone knob because it does feel slightly flimsy, but hey, not too bad for the moment. It has two humbuckers, which according to the artist's website are their famous bullbucker pickups. Gotta be honest, I've never tried them, so this will be a first for me. 
if I am not mistaken, and please do let me know if I am mistaken in the comments. These are Alnico 5 pickups, so they're not ceramic, they are Alnico pickups, and I have checked with my meter, they are quite hot in terms of winding. So you're looking at, I believe, a 15k at the bridge and a 12, around 12, if I remember correctly. I did this a few weeks ago, but I can't remember now. So they are quite hot pickups. Obviously, when you split them, that will cut it basically in half. So you should still get quite traditional single coil tones. Moving up the neck, you have a very traditional maple neck with quite standard medium frets. I've got to say the fret job is very good, actually. It is very good. They're not rounded per se, but they don't stick out. They feel quite nice. Um, I would give it an 8 out of 10. The neck itself is not the thinnest neck that you will play, but it is a very familiar neck for many of you um, that have played Telecasters. So it's relatively chunky, but not crazy. It's very comfortable. Satin finish obviously makes it a joy to play. And that's what I really like. You have a very, very nicely cut bone nut. And the big selling points, in addition to the two pickups, is what's at the back of the headstock. Locking tuners. Locking tuners. Fantastic. Great idea. Now we've got to talk as usual about the build quality and the setup. I've got to say, build quality and the finish is very, very nice. I can't really see anything wrong with this. Um, it is finished in a very dense coat of poly, transparent poly finish, but it is done very nicely. It's very smooth. The fit of the neck where it joins the body is actually one of the best ones that I've seen. It is so tight. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it is very, very tight. And that's often a sign of good construction, good planning. It is literally as tight as can be. I've definitely seen guitars 10 times the price of this that had a lot more space between the body and the neck. So this is very impressive with the traditional four screws. The frets, as mentioned, were very nicely cut very good there were no absolutely no dead spots on the guitar no fret buzz nothing of that sort the only thing i could find was that when i first took it out of the box i've got to say the frets were slightly gritty um these are the kind of things that are no big deal at all um few days of playing it, they actually smooth themselves out, um, or you can polish them out yourself if you don't want to play with them for a few days. But now, as you can tell, they're actually perfect, very smooth. The action on guitar, as usual, will put one finger on the first fret, the other where the body meets the neck, and check it out. And I've got to say, the action was super low. The neck is relatively straight. As you can probably tell from the image, there's not that much bow actually in the neck, but there is no fret buzz whatsoever. So it's not buzzing, it's not rattling. So that shows that they did a great job on the construction of the guitar. Another very important point, which I really like about this guitar, is if you look at the neck and the strings and how the bridge is centered, you will see that the distance between the high, sorry, the high E and the low E string is very consistent on both sides. A lot of guitar manufacturers unfortunately still get this wrong. So I often find that the low E tends to slip off the fretboard because it is slightly centered too much towards the high E. So it's one of those things that you can tell that they've taken a bit of time to actually check the construction. So you have a very nice attention to detail with the fact that everything is straight. So the bridge is straight, the pick guard is straight, then you have an equal distance around the pick guard and the horn of the guitar. So little details, the, the bone nut is cut incredibly well. I've got to say, really, really impressed with how the bone nut is cut. Very, very nice. If you put your finger on the third, the string is literally lying on the first fret. 
really well cut nuts very nice and finally the locking tuners they work very well not the highest quality obviously but they feel very in line with some of the guitars at this price point so overall guitar setup was flawless immaculate i took it out of the box i tuned it up that's it i didn't do anything the only thing sorry before i forget the only thing in terms of setup that i did do i had to dramatically lower the neck humbucker because it was completely out of balance with the height of the bridge so changing from bridge to neck meant that there was a massive volume jump between the two so that was the only thing again no big deal very easy to do you just lower it down to a position where it matches the volume of the bridge pickup so overall really great very nice setup perfect out of the box tuning stability is top there is no way in hell this thing is going out of tune so that really brings us to the main point of the video what do these pickups sound like and what tonal variety do they offer so let's plug in and just you'll hear me switch between the various pickups and then we'll do some split coil sounds as well and after that we'll just see what we think let's go Okay guys, we are back and hopefully you enjoyed those sound samples. So I 
I'm very impressed with the bullbucker pickups, which again, as according to the artist website, is um, of their own version of humbuckers, um, specifically made to be split. They don't sound as transparent or as open as maybe you'd expect by looking at the guitar. So I guess the pickups are in line with the modern features of the guitar, but maybe not really in line with the look of the guitar. But that's fine. I mean, ultimately, these are very good sounding pickups. And I've got to say, the split sound probably are the best ones that I've heard so far. Um, I'm not a fan of coil splitting. Um, I always find that the single coil pickups sound really weak. But in this one, they sound fantastic. And that's probably because they are higher wound pickups. So they you kind of reach that same output on single coils as you would with a traditional single coil. This is a very balanced sounding guitar. So it's not as bright as you'd expect. I have absolutely no problem with that. Um, for me, it just adds to that versatility of the guitar. So I absolutely love the full humbucker tone. I mean, this is the perfect example of something that looks like a telly, but actually sounds more like a Les Paul. Close your eyes and play this, and it might actually fool you into thinking you're playing a Les Paul because some of the overdriven sounds are spot on. Fantastic for rock, hard rock, blues. Very, very nice. The big elephant in the room, which I've kept quiet on for the moment, but I do have to talk about, is not only can it sound like a Les Paul if it wants to, but it can also weigh like a Les Paul. <laughs> I've got to say, this thing is incredibly heavy. Yes, it's good for a workout, but this is easy. One of the heaviest guitars I've ever played in terms of weight. It's up there with my 90s Gibson Les Paul in terms of weight, which were notoriously heavy in the 90s. Look, I wouldn't gig with this, quite frankly, just because of the weights. I would gig with it for the sound, I would gig with it for the playability, I would gig with it for the pickups, the build quality, everything else. But the weight, if I had to do a three hour gig, I probably wouldn't do it with it because it is an incredibly heavy guitar. At the same time, it's not a deal breaker for me. I mostly play in the studio. I mostly record in the studio, sitting down. So not a deal breaker. But if you're looking for a light guitar or a guitar that doesn't break your back, this may not be a good option because it is very, very heavy. So that for me is possibly the biggest downside of this guitar, the weight. But to sum it all up, the Artist TC59 is a fantastic guitar for players that are looking for a versatile guitar, for a guitar that doesn't break the budget, and for something which is ultimately a great platform in case you do want to change out the pickups, because the build quality is so solid, has great components, but if for whatever reason you don't like any of those components, you can always change them out. As usual, I always leave the price for last. This is an incredibly inexpensive guitar. I think it was a hundred... Let me just check that. A hundred sixty-nine pounds for this guitar. Very good price. Um, uh, you know, 160 pounds is nothing. Uh, get free delivery as well, I think. This is a true quality instrument, and I can see myself playing this for a very, very long time. In case you're asking, these guitars, as I said at the beginning of the video, are conceived, drawn up in Australia, but they are made in China. A lot of the components, if I'm not mistaken, such as the pickups, may be made in South Korea, if I'm not mistaken. But regardless, it is a very, very well-made guitar. So a made in China guitar, but very, very good quality. It is also inspected and they do put a very nice sticker. This one was inspected by Hank. Hey, Hank. Yeah, overall, I, I'm really happy with this guitar. It's a great addition. Um, I like it. It was slightly lighter. I would love it. But I really think you should go check it out because if you are looking for some good versatile rock tones, 
that can need be also going to jazz, country, blues, whatever you want, even heavier. This will do it. Great guitar. So I would definitely recommend this. I will link all the details of the Artist Guitar websites and hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on some other Artist Guitars. They've got some really funky models out there. So I will try to get that done for you. So let me know what you guys overall great thumbs up to this guitar. Like it a lot. Please subscribe, like, comment, forward, do whatever you want. But let's keep those bots happy. Enjoy whatever you guys are doing. Be good to each other and peace out. Thanks for watching.